Here it comes. <clears throat> it is Dosha Sally Expiistic Fragicali Rupus. <laughs> Now, was it fun making Princess Diaries 1 and 2? Yes. And are there plans for Princess Diaries 3? No, um, well, I don't know. Sure. Uh, there's talk about it sometimes, but I think that the lovely princess, Annie Hathaway, who's a great friend and she's a lovely, lovely young lady, is doing so well with her career that I don't know whether she would consider coming back and I can't imagine it being done without her. So I'm not sure about Princess Diaries 3. Right. I wish I could be. <laughs> <laughs> so, how old were you when you started performing and singing? I started learning to sing when I was about seven years old. And to my uh, parents' astonishment, they discovered that I had this freak singing voice. Uh, it was very, very long and way high. So high that if I practiced, you know, dogs in the area would howl and uh, uh, not know what they were hearing. But it was a kind of freakish voice that stood me in very good stead and I became Britain's youngest soprano and uh, so I, I had a very very good teacher very quickly and uh, I stayed with her for the rest of her life and thank God for that because she taught me well and I didn't harm my voice so Good. <laughs> what was it like to work with your daughter as co-author? Oh, it's wonderful. Um, who could have said that when I had a little girl and she was this high, that we would one day be talking to each other as equal women, that we would be writing our books together as we do. I have five children and I have seven grandchildren, but this particular daughter uh, writes with me. And it is an absolute joy. We giggle a lot. We drink a lot of tea. <laughs> and uh, we sometimes communicate <laughs> by those wonderful eye chat cameras on top of our computers because she lives in Long Island and I live here so it's a little difficult sometimes to write together but that actually makes it possible. Right? So do you have any private hotels or limos or helicopters or beach houses? We're all we're all wondering. <laughs> oh, that was from Preston. Well, I've decided that if I ever win the lottery, um, <laughs> the first thing we'll get is perhaps our own airplane. Wouldn't that be fun to have your own airplane? Uh, but I don't have any of those. Uh, I have a small home back in Long Island just so I can work with my daughter. But basically my home is here. And my lovely husband, Blake Edwards, is here, who made all the wonderful Pink Panther <laughs> of my grandchildren are here, except for Emma's back east. So I'm here more than I'm not, but I do go back as often as I can. So I read The Great American Mousical is being adapted as a musical. Is that true? Uh, one of our recent books is um, a little book about a troop of performing mice who live beneath the boards of a Broadway theater. And the whole idea was to bring to all of you what it is like to be that small and really find out what a theater is like and what it's like to work in it. So this it's called The Great American Mousical. And we've been lucky enough, uh, it's our second project. Uh, Simeon's Gift is one, which you'll be seeing this summer. And the second one is called The Great American Mousical and it's being done as an adult and children's and family musical comedy. It'll be a couple of years yet, but we're working on it hard. Great. So do you still keep in touch with uh, the Sound of Music kids? I do keep in touch with yes. the Sound of Music children. Woo! I do. Woo! So good. Would you believe that they're all mums themselves and dads yes. these days and uh, have their own family lives, but every so often we all get together and we send cards and Christmas cards and things like that. And they are good, good friends and I love them very much still. Oh, good. <laughs> this is a question from Vicky. Are you going to be writing a second, uh, a second book about your life? Yes, yes. Uh, oh, that's a good question. Um, yes, yes, well, I've yes, only yes. just finished the first one. <laughs> <laughs> but there's just so much to say, I know. Uh, there is, I don't know. Uh, stay tuned is what I can say. Woo! <laughs> but um, I don't know right now whether no, I even no. could. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. Maya is wondering if you can still fly with an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, okay. you know, as I get older, uh, it gets harder. <laughs> and I have to practice so much, and I don't have that much time for it these days. But sure, I can. <laughs> autobiography home like I said what is the difference oh I may have already asked this I have yes have we run out of questions no well it's the doodle no. fingers are a little hard to <laughs> well I would say so she must be dying under that wonderful outfit huh oh, no we're getting there we're getting there so any advice that you can give <gasps> authors or writers out there that are inspiring to yes. to create their stuff of their own Woo! Oh, well, I hope you, most of you love to try to write stories. I know that's what I did when I was a kid. Hello. What was that? That's absolutely right. She knows my first movie, she says. It was Mary Poppins, you're right. Um, advice to, to the young children in the arts, young children who are learning to write. I'd say that if you're passionate about it, keep going because it's going to give you a wonderful life. Secondly, all sorts of phenomenal chances will come your way because they did for me and I've seen it happen to other people. But do your homework. Be ready. That's the best advice I can say. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Uh, there is a rumor. Uh, I think Shrek 4 is being yeah, considered, and I yes. believe I'm being considered for Shrek 4, and I, I'd be very happy.